One of the greatest tragedies of the 20th century is the introduction of soy beans, soybeans, as food. They're not food. They're not, not, not fit for animals, much less humans. Now, this sounds crazy to people because they have been sold over the past 30, 40 years on soy being a substitute for animal protein. They don't say anything about fat, but animal protein has been drummed into their heads to the point now that where they have a, the new uh, food pyramid is uh, cleverly seductive and it shows uh, meat as one little slice, little slice of the pyramid, with beans being part of that little slice, implying that beans are the equivalent of, of meat. You don't need meat, you need beans. And uh, it's a terrible tragedy. Uh, I, I lay most of the blame to the, uh, to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, who started all this food pyramid stuff. And of course, the FDA took it up, and the American Heart Association, one of my favorite organizations, the American Heart Association, I have a saying. I say, never buy anything that says low fat, uh, low cholesterol, and recommended by the American Heart Association. Those are three things. You see that? Don't buy it. So, back to to soy as a food. Uh, soy has a very very high estrogen content, and most people don't realize that. You know, if they did, they probably wouldn't care. To them. They will when they hear this. Uh, women taking soy products get an infant, obviously more estrogen, and there tends to be a relationship between cancer of the breast and probably other cancers and the excess estrogen that women are getting in their food. You know, the, the birth control pills, have been, we've known this for years, that there's carcinogenic. Well, it's the estrogen. It's the same idea. And you take a tremendous amount of estrogen if you have a diet that's very heavy in soy. You're taking probably more than the birth control, birth control pill every day. And can you imagine an eight, nine-year-old girl taking a birth control pill? What it's doing to, her, to, the, to the reproductive system? And a young boy in his developmental stage getting birth control pills? It's basically the same thing. And it's, it's a truly, truly a tragedy. There's no substitute for, uh, for, for milk and eggs, uh, meat, the, the things the way God made them. Uh, soy is, is destroying civilization. This sounds rather extreme, I realize that. But literally destroying civilization. They pour soy products into Africa because it's cheap. Well, they're paying a terrible price. And they do the same thing in, in the Western world as well. And we're just being saturated with soy products, everything from uh, veggie burgers to soy milk. It makes me cringe every time I hear the word milk put in there with soy. And it's, it's indeed a, a national, international tragedy of the worst sort. 